Today we're doing this lighting setup which cost me £12 or $15 minimum and doesn't require any electrical DIY skills or special tools to achieve. All you need is an easy to stick on LED light strip, a standard 12 volt 2 amp power supply, a light reflector and a clamp if you wish and Bob's your uncle. Let's do this, roll the intro. Hey name tags and welcome this is Ash from Hillmine Tech helping you go from newbie to techie on this channel with the reviews, repairs and tutorials of tech so if you're new here subscribe, enable the bell icon notification and everyone smash the like button for more videos like this one. So if you have a small setup like me and you can check the video out there for more details of around 3.75 meters square or 40 square feet then using standard filming equipment like cameras, microphone and light setup becomes a real challenge. Especially if like me, you're working against a wall and you need to do tech tutorials, anything from smartphones, laptops, desktops to big screen TVs. So as much as I would like to use like one of these, this is a standard light kit with a light reflector and a CFL bulb or whatever kind of bulbs, size here does matter. And one more thing, because of the closed space, the CFL bulbs can become really hot, although they're not as hot as tungsten bulbs. However, because of the proximity, a long time under these lights, especially during summer, is a problem. Now, if you're wondering, yes, this is a CFL daylight bulb. It's an E27 screw type, but I sometimes use something like that, which is an adapter. This converts one single bulb. You screw it in there and you can put four bulbs. Right now, I've got two of these uh, CFL bulbs. These are 85 watts each. I do have another light with four of bigger ones, which are 150 watt each. So that's 600 watts CFL daylight in a softbox, which incidentally someone threw out on the street for me to pick up just because it had no fuse plug in there and that cost like 10 cents. So here is my practical solution for very cheap lighting, which will give you close to professional results, which I believe everyone can do. Now, all the equipments mentioned today will be in an Amazon link below. If you use them, even if you don't buy the exact products, the channel will get a small kickback and it's not going to cost you anything extra. So please support the channel. Thanks a million. So this LED light strips cost £11.50 for two five meter strips without power supply. So that's just under six pounds for each. And these are two eight three five LED strips. There's other numbers for LED strips. These ones I believe are the most economical and the brightest but you can get whatever you want. A single five meter LED strip with the power supply will cost you about 14 pounds on Amazon. Of course you probably can get them for cheaper elsewhere. I had a standard 12 volt 2 amp power supply that I'm using to light this Viltrox LED panel but if you buy it separate it will cost you just under six pounds on Amazon or maybe cheaper on eBay or you can easily pick one. It's quite a standard one. Okay so I've already done one light. Today I'm going to do the second one so in the box you can have two of this five meter reel and then there's also a little instruction manual and there is one of these which i ended up not using this is just if you wanted to extend the connection and there is a small clip if you read the instruction manual you're supposed to cut the strips if you want a specific length and then use these clips to just connect them together but we ended up not using this because we use the whole strip of five meters so we can put all this to the side see the main strip has got the connector on one end which connects to the power supply and at the other end it's got a red and uh, black uh, wire which is not used unless you're going to be connecting this to a different strip but in my case I left it as is and I used the whole of the five meters. As for the reflector you may not have a light reflector like this. This is very light. This is about 10 inch in diameter. From here to here is about four inch deep and here is about six inch deep. You have a couple of options. I've got something like this which is also shiny. This is like a aluminium salad bowl. This is slightly larger. It's about 11 inch in diameter and it's about four inch in depth. But you can also use something like a cake tin, uh, anything between 11 to 14 inch you can pick up from Amazon or from a charity shop. But you can get any kind of similar shape for anything that reflects really. And one last thing, because the shape of this is kind of conical and it starts larger at the top and goes narrower at the bottom, when you're gonna stick the strip around, it's not gonna be very straight and flush. So you're gonna have to kind of pinch it just to adjust it as you go along. It's a little bit fiddly, but in the end you will get a decent uh, 
light and it won't matter what it looks like at least not to me but if you're really bothered you might struggle with this kind of strip okay just to bear that in mind so i've actually unrolled the whole thing i find it easier to work with and you just start peeling the beige sticker okay make sure you got the sticky surface properly identified and also make sure your surface is dry and clean and i'm going to leave the connector kind of outside and start working my way around inside again do bear in mind you won't be able to do it straight you're gonna to have to adjust as you go along because of the shape of this damn thing so it will be crease you have to kind of crease it every now and then just to make it follow a certain pattern so here's the finished product on one end i've got my plug hanging out which i'm going to clip here and then on the other end we've got the wire which is kind of just hanging loose now someone better than me at electronics can explain whether we need to kind of electrically tape this to make this safe i didn't bother with the first one i'm not going to do it with this one because i'm not about to be putting my hands in there but probably to be safe you just need to kind of tape this i'm just going to leave it as is and i also forgot to mention that before you even start sticking you should just plug in your led just to test it let's do a quick test and voila geez that's bright okay so that's all you need to do okay and as you can see if i bring this a bit closer and zoom this in and focus this or whatever you can see it's not straight flushed so it was a bit fidgety to stick it around but i don't care how it looks as long as it's going to produce some decent light that's all i care all right so now let's finish this setup okay so we've got the reflector back on to the light stand now the beautiful thing is i can actually now use this for dual purpose first i could just plug the led light and use only the led what i can also do is just to connect one single bulb maybe not this one this is quite small or even get the adapter with much bigger bulbs and screw that on there now i have two different light options one much brighter but this one will probably need to go into a soft box and just kind of use each switch individually of course for now i've just used the peg to secure this little plug here but you can use anything else you can tape it whatever the heck you want but that's kind of pretty much done you can use this light straight away but let's make it even better now in terms of attaching this to a light stand or clamping it to your desk in my case i'm using this my armor clamp from amazon and because it's got a standard uh, mount here and i had uh, uh, the right nut for it so i just kind of attach this and then i'm clamping this onto my desk but you don't have to use this you can just use a normal clamp clamp it somewhere clamp it to whatever you want you can even use it on a tripod or a light stand or whatever the heck you have so you don't have to worry too much about spending on a lot of equipment you can even just put this on your desk facing you as long as you're getting some sort of light now you don't need anything else really but if you want some extra options like this dimmer switch which i've bought from amazon just under five pounds so this end will plug into your led light and this end will plug into your power supply and then you can adjust the light as you see fit which can be quite handy and i'm actually going to be using this switch because in my situation i need to be able to control the light but it's not absolutely necessary okay we're now going to test the light so i've attached the clamp to my desk and we're going to turn it on using the dimmer switch and uh, this is the effect with just the one light about an arm's length to my upper right corner on my desk okay now the light is a bit harsh so what we can use as accessory you don't have to for professional uh, looking uh, videos some people tend to do this so you can use a diffusion material like this diffusion sheet link below if you don't want to buy this diffusion sheet i've got some options for you like you can use grease proof paper and i've actually used this before on my soft box it does work well you can use any other type of material which will diffuse the light so it's not harsh anymore but be wary of anything that might burn although the grease proof paper never gave me any problem so now i'm going to put this sheet over the ld light to soften the effect let's see right now i think it's a bit more flattering for the skin tone it's less harsh okay but we can do better now this is our main light now we're going to put a fill light to our top left and i've got here a viltrox led panel and let me switch it on
and now it gives me a bit of fill on this side so it's not too dark this is what professionals tend to do it's supposed to be the three-point lighting we've only got two so far okay and last but not least if you have a headlight you can always use it now i could use my new light here to give me some headlight but i'm not going to do that instead i've got this small lamp in the background and now that gives it a much nicer look and I'm hoping you don't judge this exact quality by the lighting setup because for some reason I'm using a preset on DaVinci Resolve for 1080p YouTube but there is a bit of diminished uh, quality I'm not sure it's to do with my uh, bit rates or whatever but the resolution is supposed to be 1080p but we'll work on that later now as for the LG panel you may not have that for your light on as the fill light you can use anything else I'm sure you've got like a lamp or even a clip on bulb that you can use just you know plug it onto your desk and you can just have a bit of light you can also use anything that reflects light like a foam cord or whatever white surface you have just to reflect some light so you have a bit of uh, fill on this side and it's not too dark as for the back as well again you can use any table lamp any sort of light you can even i mean in my case i could actually put this at the back there and have this light my top head and also plug some clip on lights different colors and probably i will do this in future videos and bob's your uncle so the choice is yours really so when i said the minimum you needed was actually just the led panel and like a reflector ball and the clamp which you probably have around and the power supply i didn't mean it but anything you spend above will uh, increase the cost a bit but in no way will it increase the cost so much that you're gonna have to start worrying you might as well have bought a professional LED light but I think for maybe under 25 pounds this whole setup can be done maybe even cheaper if you um, look around okay guys so we've come to the end of our tutorial so I hope you've enjoyed it and if you've benefited from it I hope I've given you some ideas how you can work in your own setup if you do use a bit of imagination and things around the house you can get pretty decent result with very low cost it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money but do remember your first goal is to tell a good story the second for video is the audio quality third comes the lighting then comes the camera and we know very well for many youtubers that said this you can use any basic camera even your phone camera and uh, as long as you've got everything else sorted you will produce decent quality looking video but don't judge by my quality yeah we're still learning so thank you so much for watching i hope you have benefited from this in the next video i'm actually going to be showing you an updated version of my setup because there's a few things have changed to increase my workflow and diminish equipment so it's a one click and record kind of situation and as usual you know what to do with the rest of the stuff consider subscribing if you've not done so yet as always this was a pleasure this was ash from heal my tech helping you go from newbie to techie until next time peace out